what's going on everyone welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are going to be talking about the f word I don't know what the f word is it is a word that you can't say too many times on youtube i don't think a lot of people don't say it although i'm going to be saying this video so i guess it really doesn't matter but the word is feminism okay they they have brainwashed you they brainwashed everyone else we're all brainwashed and we're floating in uh soapy water because of our brain we have been indoctrinated into this feminist culture whether you want to believe it or not or maybe that's what we're being told who knows it really hasn't affected me however this affects all of us because of the effects that it has on certain types of people and you all know the types of people i'm talking about and with that being said we do have a few clips we're going to be going over today so if you would like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed and hey How's it going? My name's Rap Boy. Let's get into it. First wave feminism sought to give women men's rights without men's responsibilities. Second wave feminism sought to reduce or eliminate women's responsibilities. And third wave feminism seeks to increase men's responsibilities. And that's really the way I see it. When all the mixed messages are tallied up, we find that men can't win for losing. They still bear the majority of the burdens they did 100 years ago. To one degree or another, they are still expected to pay on the first date and onward even months or years into the relationship. Uh, still expected to be the higher earner in the relationship, still expected to pay most or all of the household bills, still expected to be at least as educated as their female partner, um, if not more, still expected to be the one to buy the ring and to buy the flowers and then to buy the chocolates on Valentine's Day, still expected to put themselves between a woman and any danger, still expected to take responsibility for themselves and others, especially women and children. The primary difference is they aren't allowed to expect any thanks, gratitude, respect, status, or reward for it. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! And women have unlimited expectations <laughs> across the board. If there's anything watching videos like this, uh, videos on my channel, but videos on other channels where you see women complaining about their options and dating, complaining about the modern world and the, the shit they have to put up with, you notice that it's all just not meeting their expectations. They are allowed to have these ex expectations that are so crazy. I mean, some of these women are expecting these six, five, you know, half a million dollar earners <laughs> with with a six pack abs. They they drive the Bugatti. They, they want these guys, and you're looking at them, and you're like, you really? You're looking at the five foot ten troll. You know, <laughs> it's like, look, lady, you're only twenty nine. Why do you have a hunchback? Okay, this isn't normal behavior. Okay, you don't get to beg or all these expectations whenever. It, it's just not going to work for you okay well women have all these unlimited expectations and they are championed for it they are gassed up they are held as fe feminist leaders for having these expectations that are just uh so high and then these expectations are from men but a man can say you know what i don't really care about any of that other stuff you know i don't care if a woman cooks i don't care if she cleans i don't care if anything like that all i want is for her to just not be ran through oh my god and they're up in arms they're you know you you cannot have any expectations for any women in in the modern world it's just not going to happen you are as soon as you do you're labeled a misogynist you're labeled a chauvinistic pig you're labeled a uh, attacker a someone who does other things and, and you're labeled all these things just because you have expectations just because as a man you think that women should be expected to do a few things as well. Well, that's not that's not how it works anymore. In fact, these expectations in the current zeitgeist aren't a continuation of the traditional masculine roles of yesteryear. Uh, they only exist so men can atone for their collective historical wrongdoings. That's why. That's how they've changed the narrative, right? We expect the same things of men, but only because men owe it to us for how horrible men were in the past. I'm just here to ask, what what the hell are we doing to our boys and to our men? Aren't we demanding that they embrace two completely different paradigms, Con contradictory paradigms? In one, girls and women are their equals, every bit as tough, capable, resilient, self-reliant, and powerful as any boy or man. And in the other, girls and women are so vulnerable and fragile that they need to be treated with special gentleness and consideration extra protection and respect, and they are so incapable that they need boys and men to rescue them from anything that might endanger or upset them. 
This is really what we're asking boys and men to do when we demand that they take collective responsibility, even as middle schoolers, for violence against women and girls. Collective responsibility. Collective blame. And we're asking them to embrace that paradigm that even though women are equal and still need to do for it. Can you bless me with something? Oh, gosh. Money-wise. Please. Can you suck it? What? A perfect example of this is the argument is sort of a, you've seen it online where, where women will argue that a man should never hit a woman, right? Men should never hit women. But what about if a woman hits a man? Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if a woman is hitting a man, a man should never lay his hands on a woman. That's always been very interesting to me because again, they have all the rights as a man, obviously, you know, they can, they can definitely hit a man if they want, wanted to. Uh, it's still illegal, but they get away with it every single time if you've ever noticed and you see any of these videos where these men are being hit in public by women nobody cares nobody's looking uh nobody's turned their head actually everyone's looking away and ignoring it it's kind of it's kind of crazy but uh you see a man <laughs> if a man were to do that if, if the roles were reversed there would probably be a riot you know so it's definitely uh exactly what she's saying you have all the responsibilities with none of the accountability i think that's one of the main issues here and that's why it's only going to get worse there's no accountability for these types of women there is is there's no way to uh there is no negatives when it comes to stuff like this because they're completely benefiting from this and they will continue to benefit from this because we are allowing them to. I think a lot of men are kind of looking around and they really don't care what society expects out of them anymore. They're just completely checking out. They're doing their own thing. They're taking care of themselves, taking care of their assets, building up their money. They are uh, completely content in every single part of their life. And so the fact that uh, feminism and all this other stuff is affecting them is very low except when it comes to these societal norms these sort of uh, gender norms that are kind of thrown in everyone's face and then also it affects men in ways of laws voting local government and stuff like that that is also affected i would recommend with everyone if if you want the laws to change in your area okay vote in your local governments okay vote for the people around you that can actually make change because the uh the wrong people are voting let's read through some of these comments this was an interesting one we have travis he says my ex-wife wanted me to do everything because being home on the couch all day was so exhausting i cooked i cleaned i fixed i worked full time i put the kids to bed every night this is well this next comment underneath that said this is common it, this is more common than than you would think you would think that a married man would you know the wife staying home with the kids and stuff you, you think that she would do no a lot of these women don't do anything and they say it's like the hardest job ever them sitting on the couch scrolling through facebook a lot of these women do not do jack shit at home okay they do the basic bare minimum to make sure the kids stay alive throughout the day they'll feed them hand them a pack of crackers and and give them a a, a paper towel and say okay go you know <laughs> I'm, I'm on I'm on Facebook. Get out of here. You know, they'll give them a little glass of water and uh, maybe, you know, change them if they need to be changed. But as soon as the dad gets home, he's with them the whole whole time till they go to bed. Absolutely. This is not this is not exaggerated in any way. A lot of men do this where their wife does absolutely nothing all day. Of course, she claims that she has the hardest job ever. She is doing everything. She's but then the house is a wreck. She doesn't clean. She doesn't cook anything, okay? The, she, she never makes it. So in order to cook, you actually have to cook, okay? Making a kid a sandwich in the middle of the day isn't cooking. That's just making a sandwich, okay? These women do not cook. They don't know how to cook, okay? Breakfast for them is a banana, you know? So um, a lot of times the man in the relationship is going to be the better cook now, which is kind of wild. If you would have said that 40 years ago, you probably would have been laughed at, but now in modern times a lot of men are they're just the better the better cooks they make better food they actually care women a lot of women don't care about cooking okay they would rather uh, they could door they would door dash every single night if they could because it's easier
So, um, and the rest of these comments, they're just agreeing with this guy. And, and this is common now. This is a very large percentage of married men do the cooking, the cleaning. As soon as they get, they, they have to work there 50, 60 hours a week and then they come home and then they have to do everything else around the house. They do not, they literally do not get a day off at all. And even on their days off from work, they have to do the yard work. They have to do the, the honey do list. They have all the, the, their schedules are completely packed. And you wonder why a lot of these guys, these women will end up stepping out on the relationship. Well, once the kids hit a certain age, these women will end up stepping out of the relationship that they'll say that they're bored, say that he doesn't spend enough time with her. He's too busy working or spending time with the kids. He doesn't value her, uh, her femininity enough and all this random crap that they come up with. She will start hooking up with the guy she met at the gym to try to lose those mommy pounds. She met the dude at the gym. He's six, five. He drives the Bugatti. He has the big arms and the six pack and they went out to grab some, you know, some protein shakes. And on the way back, he accidentally slid it in her and, and now they're, they're divorced. Once these guys get divorced, they're not going to get married again. <laughs> they're not going to fall into that trap again, where they're doing every single thing, every single day. It is, it's the biggest trap of, of the modern age. Check out this next comment saying, looking at her, I was so wrong for assuming what I thought she would say. In the end, she nailed the truth in such a way that I could never articulate. Well said, ma'am, and thank you. And then the next comment says, she has three sons. She hated feminism because she knows the damages it can do to men of her family. Absolutely. Women that have men that are important to them in their family do not like feminism because they see what it's doing to the men around them. And they obviously do not like that. The so-called feminists nowadays talk a lot about the patriarchy and how it's hurting women and benefiting men. So today I'm going to bring you some facts. Again, not my opinions, but facts to show you that this patriarchy is not really benefiting men. It's actually hurting them more than us. So 98% of deaths in combat are men. 78% of victims are men. 78% of suicide victims are also men. 80% of work-related injuries and death are also men. Only 16% of men win custody battles while 85% of women control household spending. I could keep going on and on here, but I wanna stop for a moment and ask you to tell me one single law here in the United States that benefits men more than women, or any law that would prevent a woman for doing something based off of her sex. And you won't find any, right? And that's why I am against feminism nowadays. I know you guys love changing the meaning of words and stuff. So I do know what feminism stands for and what it actually stands for, I am totally supportive of. Of course, I do believe in equal rights. I do believe women have the right to vote. Women should be treated as equal as men, of course. But today's feminism is not about that. Today's feminism is about female supremacy. I love the pain. Because the pain is the truth. The hurt is the truth. And I'm going to go ahead and agree with everything up until this point. A lot of a lot of women today will still say that they're not equal to men, which is completely false. It is probably the biggest lie that these women are still told. These women, they go to college and they're kind of indoctrinated into this system. They are definitely told that women are still not equal to men. They still have less rights than men. It's just, it's complete bullshit. The, the honest truth is that right now in 2024, women have more rights than men. Which I'm 100% against. We as women are free, free to do whatever we want. We can make the best choices for our lives. You have freedom and that's all you could ask for. If there were any laws preventing you from doing what you want to do because you're a woman, I would be fighting by your side with you there's for all any. that matters, but there's not. And you have your freedom. So go ahead and make the best choices for your life and be happy. You know that feminism was always about equality and thinking women are the same and they are strong and they can do whatever they want to do. And that's what feminism should stand for. But right now, unfortunately, all you guys do is cry about things and say that you're a victim to everything and everyone and that all men are bad and evil. And I cannot support that. I just can't. There's one thing I hate. I can't stand it is to have a victim mentality, especially when you have freedom of choice to choose whatever is best for you. 
making bad choices and trying to blame others for the bad choices you make for your life is a shame. That is just awful behavior that I refuse. <laughs> Very interesting point of view there. Those percentages she was talking about, I don't doubt that any of those are accurate. Uh, it seems pretty accurate to me. Let's go ahead and let's go through a few of these comments. Here's an interesting comment from Unity Hub saying, No longer care. I avoid all women. I mind my own business. We are equal. I close my eyes and my mouth and stay to myself. I've had enough. Six likes on this. This is very interesting. Very interesting point of view. I think that we've now reached a point where a lot of men have been looking around seeing what the issues are and, and now we have a lot of women that have been looking around and seeing what all the issues are and what you'll start to see even more of is um, are going to be women coming out making videos kind of shining a light on what's going on uh, in the modern age of uh, you can call it whatever you want you can call it the f word if you want i think it needs to be called something else because <laughs> that just does not make sense anymore it has been completely uh you can call it co-opted you can call it whatever you want but it something has happened and now it is not it is nowhere near trying to be uh trying to work the way of uh, equality but something a little bit more sinister a little bit more insidious is going on here and i think you would have to be deaf dumb and blind not to notice it